What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got a check in the mail from the IRS and I'm shaking it here so those fraudsters can't read it and try to steal the money. But the IRS sent me a check and I was really confused because yesterday my wife said, hey, we're gonna get a check in the mail and it's coming from the IRS because we have that um, informed or whatever they call it with the uh, post office or informed delivery. They get, basically take pictures of all of your mail and you can see it before you actually get it. But anyways, so she tells me we're getting this IRS check. So I was like really confused. So yesterday I went out, picked up the mail, looked at it and we got a check and it is from it is for the advanced child tax credit and it actually says it right on the check the advanced child tax credit payment and it only has her information on it now if you've been following the channel i opted out i did a video on it on how to opt out but i made one mistake so this morning i called the irs to try and figure it out sort it out with the check why did we get it what did I do wrong? And I wanna make sure that you're not making the same mistake. So what they told me when I called the IRS this morning is that when you opt out, both you and your spouse need to opt out of the child tax credit. So it's super frustrating because I wanna flip over to show you what this looks like on the portal. So this is me logged in as the portal and you can see right here, it says confirmed as of June 28th, 2021. There are no process payments at this time, but here is what I missed. I missed this part right there on the top of the page and I'm gonna point it out so you don't make the same mistake as I did. So let's go ahead and back over to the screen. So here's what we missed right at the top. If you file jointly and your spouse unenrolled from the advance payments before June 28th, 2021, but you didn't unenroll and haven't already received payments, then you'll start getting your portion of the payments in August. Wow, is that frustrating that you both have to opt out when you file a joint return. Now, the reason it's showing June 28th there is because I unenrolled on that date. So your date might be different if you're logging into the portal and taking a look at it. But anyways, you're, we got the check. If you got the check or you got a direct deposit, that is the reason why. I even went back and was reading some of the news articles from the IRS, the page that I've shown on, on other videos. In fact, I can show you where it is right now. So if we look at this and you just click on, or we just go to irs.gov, you can go right there at the top and see the news. And this is where I, I see a lot of the information right here. But I was looking through, I was looking through some of those to figure out like, okay, what did I miss there? Did I miss anything? Was there a glitch? And the IRS said, or the agent that I spoke with said, no, there's not a glitch. You both need to go in and opt out of it. Now, this was the child tax credit division and they did not understand that either. In fact, she basically readily admitted to me that she heard it from somebody else who had called in, who explained it to her that if you don't go on there and both opt out, then somebody's getting a check. So I couldn't even figure out the denomination that they gave me. So, and I, you know, I have a little bit of a different situation, I guess, than some other people. I have four kids. One of them was born last year, so they're not gonna be on the tax returns previously because I did file an extension. I haven't filed my 2020s yet. So they don't have that information for one of my kids and two of them just turned six. The twins just turned six. So it's a wonky situation. So I don't know how they got the denomination either, but it seems like there's a ton of different things that they need to still work out. But here is the fix that I'm gonna actually end up doing. So I wanted to figure out how could I not keep this check? Now, they told me, don't just rip it up. Don't just write void on it. If you send it back to the IRS, then it will be recorded as a payment that didn't go out. Right now, they have it as recorded as a payment going out because I have a check in my hand that I could go in and cash. Um, if I do not, it will eventually get fixed, but it could cause some problems later on down the road because the IRS systems are basically are terrible. You know, in my experience, they've been terrible. I'm sure in your experience, they've been terrible as well. So they're not matched up and they would assume that they already gave me the money. So here's the fix for that. So what they told me to do, and we'll go back to the screen right here. And if we go to the irs.gov, scroll down, you can actually click on this third economic impact payment and then scroll down again and go to this link, you can see I already clicked on it. Questions and answers about the economic impact payment. Scroll down again, and then topic I, returning the third economic impact payment check. And this is not considered that check, but this is exactly how you're going to fix this scenario. And it depends on where you live. 
So you have to, to look at right here, it says, if you live in, I live in the state of Florida. So this is where I would send it to Austin Internal Revenue Service. So Austin, Texas is where I'm gonna end up sending it. But this is the page. I'll see if I can throw this link, but it's really simple. Just go there and you can get the information right there. So you can go ahead and I'm gonna write void on this check. They said, attach a little note explaining what the situation is. I'm gonna do it really briefly. I'm literally just gonna say, we don't want this check keep it. So, you know, I, hopefully they'll be able to figure it out. But the reason that I want to do it is because I'm not certain whether or not I would qualify for any of the child tax credit um, checks. And I'll just deal with that when I file my taxes. People have different scenarios or situations, how much they want to withhold if they're a small business owner or a W-2 employee. Everything is going to change the decision of whether or not you want to keep these checks but if, you, if you're not entitled to them and you're cashing them, you're gonna end up having to pay it back if you have a tax liability at the end of the year. And, and that is where it comes down to whether or not you should keep this check um, and what you need to do. So pay attention if you've already opted out. Obviously, if you're making it this far in the video, you know that you probably either need to opt out or tell your spouse to opt out if you've already opted out. And nothing in the portal says that my wife is actually getting a payment. So. You know, I, it, it's a really difficult situation, I know, for a lot of people who are trying to do right with their finances and then opt out and then end up getting the check and their spouse cashed the check, they're not aware of it, and then there's something else that occurs, and now a lot of people are probably going to have to, they're going to have messed up financial situations or tax returns when they go to file their taxes, and they're super surprised whether or not they have to owe money or they're getting a massive refund back. So it's gonna swing the pendulum all over the place. So hopefully they can work this stuff out and make it a little bit clearer because I like most people just br brushed over that note and didn't think twice that yes, my wife does need to opt out. And it really should make that really abundantly clear that both spouses need to do it. I don't think that the system should be set up that way. If either spouse opts out of it, both people, both parties, both spouses should get a note, a notice that says you've opted out. So I don't know, but I wanted to let you guys know so how you can fix the situation if you get the check, if you both didn't opt out, keep an eye out for the check so you don't accidentally throw it away and then have even more problems when you go to do your taxes. So that's the video. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.